Hi there, it's Frank Simon, and together with my wife Dale and I in this picture, we've operated Simon Says Roses Florist since 1992. Today I'd like to review the online ordering process with you to answer many questions and concerns that you may have. First thing I'd like to point out is the 1-800-705-7673 toll-free phone number. It's a 24-7 phone number, which means it's manned or femaled in this case, all the time, middle of the night, Sundays, Christmas Day, statutory holidays, a live body will be there to answer your calls or to take your order. The second thing, and more pertinent now when it comes to online ordering, is the Komodo security seal. Most online sites have 128k of security. We've doubled that to 256k to make sure that the online ordering process is secure as possible. Now, when you go down into the body of the website, you'll notice a couple of things. There'll be a series of links on the left for various occasions, like birthday, food, flower and fruit baskets, roses, budget flowers, and so on. And there's also some images, some pictures, of actual products for immediate ordering. Let's take this first one. It's a three-rose bud vase. It says there's an online price discount. When you order it online, it's $24.99, but it's $34.99 when you order it by phone. And the reason for that is it takes us much less time to process an online order than it does a telephone number, and we're willing to pass on those savings to our customers. So if we go to this button right below the item, it says click for details. We do so. It comes up with a larger product image of the item. A description. So we'll say, yeah, let, let's purchase that item. So we'll add it to the cart. Now, because I've been using this previously and have previously put in items into the shopping cart, suddenly I have three items. Well, I don't want to buy three items. I only wanted the one. So I'm going to delete the teddy bear. I'll hit the red X. And I don't want two of the three rosebud vases, I only want the one, so I'm going to eliminate the second one. And I notice some uh, images below that, a balloon, a bear, a card, or chocolates. Well, let's say I wanted to add chocolates to the card, so I'm going to add that item. Okay, so although the picture's unavailable, the product definitely still is. So there's the price of $24.99, I'm adding a box of chocolates. All applicable taxes will be calculated depending on the destination, which is true enough, so I'm going to hit the checkout button. Checkout button then takes you to our order form. There's a few things I want to point out here. The first thing is, is that the SimonSaysRoses.com is in blue, denotes the fact that it's now part of the secure area of our site. Similarly, the background is this scaled blue background versus, versus the other background you saw on the product page and probably most importantly is in the address bar it's now denoted by HTTPS and the S stands for the secure area of the site which enables you to securely order online so as we can see when going or looking at the form there's four steps step one some basic information one thing I'd like to point out is the red asterisk. The red asterisk stands for required information. We must have that information to process the order. So it's your email address, your name, your address, your city, the province or state. Now it automatically defaults to Alberta, but when you click on the menu, you have an option of choosing the province or state where you live. So we'll just leave it at Alberta for now and in Canada, we'll leave that as well, but it can be one of any of up to 170 different countries that we have in our database. We want your zip code or postal code, the area code you're calling from, and a contact phone number. A lot of, that's required now, but a lot of times you may be providing a work number, we need to get in touch with you in off hours, so we suggest that the bill phone to area be completed as well with perhaps a home number or an alternate phone number, a cell number where we can reach you out, for example. Okay, let's proceed to step two. Step two is the credit card information. So we'll drop down on the menu. It defaults to Visa, but you have a choice of Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discovery, in-house we no longer use, but 
there are your options. The credit card number, the expiration month and year, the name as it appears on the card, and what's called the CVV code, which is the three, last three digits, sorry, the last three digits that occur on the back of your visa. I have a jumpy mouse today. Let me get back here. It's on the back of your visa, your MasterCard, or your Discovery card, or the four-digit code on the front of your American Express card. We do that, and we request that information just to verify that the card is in fact not stolen and that you have physical possession of the card. Okay, we'll go to step three. That's the recipient's information, their name, address, city, province, state, country, their postal code. Now, a lot of times people may not have the postal code. We suggest just putting in an alternative postal code or what we call a dummy code, maybe even your own postal code, just so that piece of information is input into the field. We have a database verification program that will actually verify the address and the postal code when we physically process the order. Okay, the person's phone number is also essential information that we need. We go to step four. You, at this point you get to choose the month, the day, the year for delivery, and instructions. Now it says it's maximum 25 words we found with experience to the smaller or the fewer number of words that you can put into this field the better. The larger numbers tend to uh, get the system to go, for lack of a better phrase, wonky and crashing the order. So keep this to as few words as possible. If there's an occasion, right now it's defaulting to none, but you can choose your occasion from the menu. The card message. Now there's a note here, maximum 25 words with the small tube by three inch free greeting card and there is a, a charge of $3.99 if you exceed that 25 words uh, there is a maximum to that uh, for some reason we can't go any further than 50 words when we do the computer generated card message so we will restrict that area or this field to 50 word maximum if there's any inf additional information such, a pro such as a promotion code or a discount code if you could put it in the additional information section here or if there's anything else that you would like us to know. Okay, so now we're almost at the end. And at the bottom it says proceed to confirm your order. Now this is not the final point, but let's just press on this. And it takes you back to step one. And the reason it does that is because there's required information that's missing. This may occur with uh, your online ordering process as well. And what it does, it's highlighted the areas in red ink below each of the fields that has required information that's missing. So simply put in the required information and again proceed to the end part of the order. Once you hit the step four, proceed to the information, and let's assume that all the information is there, it will take you to another screen where it says thank you for your order. Unless you get that thank you screen, your order is not processed, the information has not gone anywhere. Once you receive that thank you screen, you've known you've gone through all the process, the information is correct, it sends the order to us securely. It's not an automatic order confirmation process, however, we do manually review every single order that we receive, just in case there might be some typo information, some phone number information that just doesn't quite seem right. So we want to make sure that your order is clean before we process it. Once we process it, only at that point are we actually putting anything through on your credit card. And once we put it through on your credit card, we take your email address, we send you an order confirmation invoice, which will be an email attachment to your order, to the email, and it's full details, everything from the product you've ordered to the greeting card message to taxes, delivery or service charges, is all on that attachment. If you don't receive that information in a timely fashion, please call us on the toll-free number. We can always process the order by phone, if need be. Hopefully that answers a number of your questions with regards to online ordering. Again, it's Frank Simon, Simon Says Roses. Order online or give us a call at 
705-7673. Thank you and thank you for being our customer. Bye now.